Hang on. I think we're live. Oh, sorry guys hey guys <laughs> it's grace pamela and tracy joy <laughs> tracy joy uh with the summerana and we are going live today because we have a new release and also um we're going to do a live edit for you guys um it's a live recorded edit so it's kind of same thing kind of not but you guys are um free to ask any questions you might have or anything like that and uh, we'll be able to answer them. So uh, I'm excited about this one. I've been waiting for this for this launch for a couple of weeks because I'm kind of obsessed with it, and I've been yes. playing with it a lot. So yes, and a, a lot a of you guys one. have been asking about it too in the group. Um, so what it is, uh, Jackie is one of our instructors, um, and she went live in the group. Uh, how many? It was a couple weeks ago, and she was shooting uh, magnolias in the moss chair, and it was absolutely beautiful. And the uh, new release is digital backgrounds and overlays with the moss chair and the magnolias and there's other bluebells flowers. too. Yeah, there's bluebells and daffodils. Yep. yep. So we're gonna show you guys those, and then after we show you the new release, we're gonna go ahead and show you the. Uh, fine art composite edit that Tracy did um, to show you guys how to use them. It's super simple and we're really excited super about fun. it. Yeah, it's great if you're anywhere in the in the Midwest where it's still cold but beautiful outside and you can't shoot like we used to. So these really kind of like helped, helped me get creative again. So I'm excited to share them with you guys. Yes. Hi, I'm seeing all of you guys in here. It's so nice to have you guys here live with us. <laughs> Yeah, we're enjoying this. Oguta, hi. Monica's here. Hi, hi Monica. Monica. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that. Here we go. All right. So here are um, the, the new release. So there's digital backgrounds and there's overlays in it. And I'm just going to kind of go through. This is the live edit we're going to be doing. So this is the before image um, of Tracy's lovely daughter. And this is the after. And so she's going to show you how she composites the new um, digital, back digital backgrounds with the moss chair. And then also a uh, digital background from another set that we have already mm -hmm. in the membership. So there's two of them there. Mm -hmm. So two different ones. It was when I shot this, it was, I mean, nothing, everything's just kind of starting to bloom here, but it's still pretty ugly out yeah. here. And I saw these and I was like, oh my God, this is exactly what I needed. So. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of fun with this. So thank you, Jackie, for creating these for the Summerana group and the membership and giving us yes. something creative to do. Yes, and thank you too, Tracy. We all make such a great team, right? I know, I agree too. <laughs> and you guys in the group, um, we all really appreciate you guys. Uh, a lot of our products and tutorials and are all coming from recommendations and you guys asking for help in certain departments. And this was one of them, Tracy. They, we got a lot of people mm -hmm. asking how to um, like partially add in digital backgrounds instead of fully. So I really mm -hmm. like how you, um, let's say you already had the, um, you know, this part and you just had like the ugly background, like you had mm -hmm. right here. And let's say she was already sitting in the chair. Yep. Um, then you can replace just the top part in the background here to get and it was rid so, of like- It was so easy to do too, it really was, right. so. Right, and yeah, she'll show you exactly how easy it is. So uh, stick around you guys if you wanna watch live with us. Otherwise, if you aren't able to, um, you can come back and watch the replay. Um, so here are the digital backgrounds that are in the new collection that you guys can go download right now. I have the download link in the description here. Yeah, they're all beautiful. Jackie did a great job with these. Oh, yes, definitely. I was really excited about it. I've always wanted mm -hmm. moss chairs um, in real life, and now I get mm -hmm. to have them right here. Yeah. Awesome. OK. So in the library, um, you guys, we are um, in the middle of revamping this. So you'll actually see that in the next, I don't know, like a week or so if we're Able yeah, to get hopefully. But um, I'm going to show you where the new backgrounds are. 
in the meantime. Uh, right now, yep. Yep. So it's in the Creating Digital Background Composites. And I have that link right, right in the description for you too, to download them. And then you go all the way down to the spring, summer, and they're right here in the moss chair ones. And then you can download right here. And that will open it up to have all of this. And these are the overlays. And then these are the, the, um, the digital background. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's where they are there. And then if you want to watch this um, video, the editing video that we're doing right now, um, you can go ahead and go into... Yep, right in their composite editing workshops is where right I here. threw them. Yep. It's been a long day for me and Tracy. I know. <laughs> we're both like, uh... <laughs> We're hanging by threads. We need food and we need sleep. <laughs> I don't know what either of those things are today. Okay, so it's all the way at the bottom here, and then you'll be able to watch it. So we're going to go ahead and play this with you guys. If you have any questions, um, let us know in the comments, and uh, we'll be able to answer them at the end. Yep. Uh, so we will be here uh, doing that. Pop in your comments, it. yep, and we'll go over them all at the end of the video. So enjoy. Yep. Now yep. I get to listen enjoy to myself it. talk, which is never fun. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Okay.
Okay, can you guys hear us now? We're working through some kinks here. Just waiting for Grace's volume to come back on. Hey, you guys, um, we're having some sound issues. Sorry about that. <laughs> this is this is like typical of Grace and I. This is what happens to us all the time. I swear, every single <laughs> live, I mess up. Bad. We get excited, and then it's like, oh, oops. <laughs> oh, my goodness. OK, um, I don't know why it's not. We're missing something within the screen sharing part. OK, I'm going to like reshare the screen. Okay. And see if that helps. Sorry, guys. <laughs> what would the fun of live be with Tracy and Grace if we didn't mess something up? It'd be so boring. <laughs> okay, let me try things such as this. Oh, is it working? There it is. Right. Yep. Okay, should I restart it then? Start it over. I'm so sorry, guys. I hope you guys don't have a lot of other things to do right now <laughs> we should just like delete this whole day tracy i know no joke <laughs> okay you guys, can we're laugh gonna... about it <laughs> <laughs> it's better than my instagram live the other day i don't know if you saw it no i did not I, I accidentally put a filter on showing my it was like my mouth was really big during the whole <laughs> live and i was like oh my god i can't even concentrate i keep laughing at my mouth <laughs> that's fantastic <laughs> Okay, guys, we're going to try this again. Sorry about that. Uh, let us know if you have any questions in the comments. And here we go. We got this. We do. Today, we're going to merge a bunch of images um, using this one and a couple of our background composites that we have within the membership. So I'm going to start here with this image, and we're going to work it in Lightroom first. And I'm just going to do some little tweaks Bring my exposure down, bring my contrast down a little bit, my highlights down, shadows up, and a little bit of warmth with the temperature. Bring the slider here a little bit to the magenta just because it's a really green image. It's spring right now, so everything's coming up kind of really neon. So this is going to help that a little bit. Peek down here. I'm going to raise the vibrance a little bit, just a pinch. Okay, down here into saturation. I'm gonna choose the saturation tab itself. Let's pull the red slider up a little bit. Yeah, this is gonna give her a little bit more color to her skin and her face and her pink dress, just a pinch. Okay, last thing is I'm just gonna bring up the sharpening just a bit. It's a good image, but I just wanna add in a little bit more and I like doing that in Lightroom. Okay, so last thing we're gonna do is some split toning. I'm gonna bring it right in here, the slider into the orange area. Let me show you guys. When I bring this way up, it obviously makes it very orange. But I'm gonna tailor that down just to give a little bit more warmth again to the image. So right about there, I think looks good. We can toggle and see a little before and after. Gives a nice little overall warmth. So let's open this up now into Photoshop. 
<clears throat> and let's start merging some layers, which is going to be a lot of fun. I've picked out two great ones to use for this, so I'm excited to um, get going. All right, so here we are in Photoshop. So you're going to see I have a couple things open here. I have a digital background. I liked all of this color throughout here. This is from the Pushing Up Daisies collection. Digital backdrop number 13 from that collection. Then I also have the moss chair. So you'll see there's no background. It's just the chair itself, which I thought was pretty awesome. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to come here to the image that I'm working on. I'm going to drag my chair right in front. And now I'm just going to simply click and drag it right onto the picture where I want. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Once it gets here, we're going to need to do some resizing. So I'm just going to do a free transform, bring that down from the corner, place it about where I want. And then I'm going to adjust the opacity. I'm going to bring this down to about half so I can see exactly where I place it. What I'm doing is I want to make sure the bottom poof of this chair is meeting where the poof of what she's sitting on is, the base of that chair. Now I can bring my chair up a little bit. I bring this down, just making sure again that her bottom is right on the chair cushion where it should be. And I think that looks good. I'm going to press enter. All right, I'm going to bring this opacity up a little bit more, but not all the way. And we're going to put a layer mask on it. So right here, we're going to come down here to this little icon that looks like a camera. And I'm going to press layer mask. We have a white layer. Now I'm going to grab a black brush. I'm going to be on 0% hardness. And I am just going to brush away off of my subject now. So I'm going to do it first of all, kind of big and sloppy. And then I'm going to get down there into the details a little bit more. But I want to make sure that my middle section here is pretty good. All right, now that we have that, I'm going to come in closer. I'm going to bring the opacity of that chair layer to 100%. All right, from there, we can creep in and dial in a little bit more to the details of where we want along the edges. So just going up along her head and around, making sure I have everything here. Okay. It definitely helped having the green cushion chair underneath here for blending. All right, so now I'm going to go to a white brush and I'm going to come back in closer and I'm going to now brush away the edges here. And I'm actually going to bring my opacity down in the 70s, mid 70s, and use that to brush. This way it's going to brush the majority, but my background was so close where I can get away with a little bit of it. I'm just going to switch my brush black. A little shortcut for you guys, if you're doing brushes and you hit the X key, it'll take you from black brush to white brush. So you can easily toggle back and forth when you are doing fine tuning such as this. All right. Getting in there to the details. Okay. Looking good. Come around her chair knees. I'm just going to toggle back to white again so I can brush away more of this to make sure her knees are all part in here. All right, I'm going to toggle back again and just brush away. Or I mean, bring back actually is what we're doing. We are revealing more of the moss chair. Just slowly blending as we go along. Again, toggling with that X key to make sure that we get nice and smooth around the edges and we can go back and we can erase and bring back again, which is why I love using layer masking. All right, coming up through here. Bring back some of the chair around the crown of her head. here as well. We're looking good. And that was a pretty easy 
merge to do there. Let's see. Looking great. I don't think we even need to worry about any shadowing. Everything's looking pretty even to me. I am uh, gonna do the next part. So once we got her on our chair, I think we look good there. Now we just need to add in a different background. So I'm gonna come here to my pushing up daisy. I'm gonna drag this to the side again. And once again, once I have it to the side, I'm just gonna drag and place it on my image. Yes and yes. Okay, we're gonna put it right about there, I think. Now I'm gonna bring this layer, we see it's on top. I'm just gonna drag it underneath, right here. So now it is behind the chair. I have my layer there. I'm gonna put another layer mask on this one. And we're gonna do a little painting off again. So with the black brush, we're gonna come in here and now we just need to reveal our subject again. So let's bring this opacity up. Make sure we bring her all the way back. Okay, looking good. Let's make sure we're all the way revealed. Okay, excellent. Now let's play with our backgrounds here a little bit. So we're gonna come back here to our chair layer on the mask and we're gonna grab our brush, bring it in the high 60s, and we're just gonna paint back a little bit of our this chair right layer here, here, just to on the mask. Have it blend a little bit and better with our background. We're gonna grab our brush, you don't see bring it in the edge. high 60s. So doing and it, we're at just a gonna paint back middle bit. part chair like layer. That. Helps kind just of preserve to, the mask. Have it blend a little bit and better with our background. Still, grab our brush, bring it in the high 60s. So doing it, we're just gonna paint back middle part chair layer. Helps kind of preserve the mask. Have it blend a little bit better with our background. Still, grab my brush, bring it in the high 60s. So doing it, we're just gonna paint back middle part chair layer. Looks great. We lost the grass. I should have noticed that ahead of time because now we have to brush her off again. But that's an easy task. We come back here to our layer mask, our brush, and we're just gonna bring her back again. Oops, let's bring our opacity up to a full, and we're just gonna brush her back again. Not a big deal, easy task. This is so much prettier than the original image and that yucky background that I had. All right, looking great. So I'm gonna come here and we're gonna crop this. So I'm gonna, up here, you'll see the ratio. I have it at nothing. That's because I hit the clear button. So if you have any numbers in here, just hit clear if this is what you wanna do. Um, I'm not worried about exact size. I just want it to look good for the most. So I'm just gonna drag the top down, click okay. And we are looking pretty peachy. All right, here again to our background layer. You can see our little before and after. I'm just going to play with the colors a little bit. We can see the greens in the backdrop are a little bit different than the greens in our foreground, which is our chair. So what I'm gonna do is clicking on the layer, make sure you're not on the mask, you're on the layer. I'm gonna hit Command B or Control B on a Mac, on a PC, I'm sorry. And we're just gonna use some color balance here. So. I'm gonna bring the slider over the magentas a little bit more and we can see that helps match our greens quite a bit more. Bring a little bit of reds in and we can play with our yellows as well. I think that looks great. Notice I am here on the mid-tones, that's where I'm playing. So we added in a little bit more, genta, more magenta, a little bit of yellow and a little bit of red and that helped blend our background grass color, all the greens with our foreground. Alrighty here, so um, I'm just gonna give it one more crop. I'm gonna hit the crop tool, make sure I'm clear, and I'm just gonna bring this side in a little bit more, just so she's centered a bit for us. Gonna hit okay, and there we are. So now we can get working on a little bit of the fine details of her. So I'm gonna first grab my two layers, and I'm gonna put them in a group, right here. I, um, don't necessarily like to flatten unless I have to or all the way at the end. So I like to make this group so I can get a little before and after of where I am. Kind of helps me in the end visualize my final creation. So, all right, what we're gonna do here now is I'm gonna create a duplicate layer of the background. And remember this background is now only going to be her because that's what we worked on in these two layers here with the brushing on the masks. 
So we're going to zoom in. And I'm just going to rename this layer um, details because that's what we're going to do. We're going to work on the details. We are in early spring, so she has a bit of this winter, you know, colors, the darkness under her eyes. So we're going to play with that a bit. I'm going to use the clone stamp. I'm going to come up here to about 40%, give or take. And bring my brush small. And I'm just going to select an area around the eye that I want to mimic the color. So it kind of helps get rid of those dark circles without fully getting rid of the detail underneath it. The same on this side. There we go. I'm gonna work here a little bit in the middle. I think we're looking great. All right, nothing else that I need to really work on cleaning up. These little hairs we could play with a little bit. Let's see if we can clone away some of that. Just to soften it up a little bit. Okay. There we are. All right. So next thing we're going to do, I just see there's a little bit of detailing here in her hair that needs to be perfected. So we are going to come back here to the chair layer on the mask. We're going to grab our brush. And I'm just going to paint back a little bit more hair. Just like that, I think looks good. Um, Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna come up to my adjustment panel. You can get this right from your windows by hitting adjustments. It'll bring you a whole new panel. And we're gonna go to curves. I'm gonna come right here and I'm gonna bring this down in the midtones. Right about there, I think looks good. I'm just looking at her hair. That's all I want out of this. So with this layer, I'm now gonna invert it. So I'm gonna turn it inside out. So on my Mac, it's a command I. Control I, I believe on a PC, PC, and that'll turn it black. So now we can brush the dark color from that mask that we want. So a white brush, and I'm just going to, and we're gonna go to curves back. I'm gonna come right here, and I'm gonna bring the, some darkness to her hair. And there we go. strand up here as well. All right, you can see a little before and after. Helps blend and really actually get the color of her hair because I shot this a little overexposed. All right, so next thing we're gonna do, back on this detail layer, we're gonna come here and we are going to grab the dodge tool. We're gonna go to mid-tones. We're gonna bring our exposure around 30-ish and we're just gonna brighten up her eyes a pop. Okay, a couple swoops over the yellow, I'm uh, the yellow, over the white. And then we're gonna do a little bit more. We're actually gonna bring this opacity up and go over her irises a little bit to pop the color back into them. You can see our catch lights again now. She's got these dark greeny yellowy eyes, so they can get a little hidden. All right, looking good so far. All right, you can see I like to zoom out and zoom in to get to my details. So that's what I'm doing there with that. All right, so um, let's do a little bit more here with the Dodge and Burn. I'm gonna come here to her lips and I'm just going around the areas that are naturally highlighted already by the light. I'm gonna bring my exposure down to the teens. It's gonna go over the areas where the light is hitting naturally and just brighten them up a little bit. All right, here to the chin, but to the cheeks, and here to her forehead, come down here to her neck as well. You wanna pay attention to all the highlighted areas. A little bit of the Cupid's bow right there. All right, now when I highlight, I mean, dodge, I also burn. So now we're gonna grab our burn tool. We're gonna to bring that way low. We're gonna play with some shadows. So in the teens now, just gonna come here to the shadowed areas of her face. Around the nose, Cupid's bow right in here. That's a little too much. Let's go back space. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna come here to her eyebrows. 
I'm also going to zoom in and we're going to work here around her eyes. So I'm going to bring the exposure up. I'm going to bring this real low and I'm just going to work her lash line a bit. Here we go. Not trying to make it look like makeup, just trying to bring a little bit more attention to her eyes. So when you bring that around it, it tends to make them pop a little bit more. Okay, I think we're looking good. Let's work some more dodging and burning down here. So I'm gonna grab my dodge tool. Let's work on her fingers a bit. Again, just getting the areas that are already highlighted and just giving them a little boost. All right. We can also work the details of our chair if we come up to that layer right here. So now I'm on the layer of the chair. Make sure not the layer mask, the chair itself. And we can burn a little bit of these um, bright areas on the chair as well. We can also bring this up. We can pop some flowers. Just a few clicks of that dodge. All right. And see, we have a little dark spot here on her forehead. So I'm just going to bring my opacity down and we're just going to, oops, got to come back, make sure I'm on the right layer, back to my girl here. And just, there we go, zoom that out. And bring the opacity a little bit lower. Just brighten up a little bit more on her face. All right, looking great. Okay, so for here, next thing we're gonna do is back in my adjustment layer. I'm gonna come here to hue and saturation. I'm going to select reds and I'm gonna pop the saturation of it. You're gonna see it's gonna mess with the color all over her skin. But I also want that because I wanna give her a little bit of color back. So with the hue saturation layer right here, again, I'm gonna invert it. So I'm gonna click on the layer mask and Command I, Control I is gonna flip it inside out. So now it's hidden. And we can use a white brush and bring the opacity to about 50, 45 ish. And we're just going to paint on a little bit of rosy to her cheeks. We can also bring that to her lips a bit. That may be too much, I think. Let's bring that opacity down even more. There we go. Bring it back up again. I'm going to rosy her cheeks just a little bit more. And I think we're looking good. We can also take this brush up higher and we can amplify the color of her dress to give that a little bit more of a pop from this pale pink. Go. All right. Looking good so far, friends. I think we are almost there. We have a nice looking image here. So let's just um, get everything back in our group. So I'm gonna take all these guys, put them right in there so that everything is in our group. Let's see where we started. There we are, there's our original shot. And here is where we ended. So we composited with two different overlays out of the Summer on a membership, the Moss Chair, the PSD layer, and then the Pushing Up Late Daisies um, number 13. And we made a nice spring image. All right, so I think this is about it. This looks perfect, guys. I'm really pleased with it. And hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and all the goodies that are offered in the Summer on a shop. Have a good one, take care, and get creative. Okay. Yay! We did it! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's always funny listening to your own voice talk. It's like, oh my gosh. You have but that was a fun voice. edit. And I actually used that edit, then I took the, so I saved the, the file just as a PSD, and I was able to grab my daughter from one image and put her into one of the other moss chairs. So it worked out really easily. Mm -hmm. Really yeah. simple. You did a great job. Thanks, friend. Okay, so uh, you guys, we're going to answer any questions if you guys have any. Julie says she loved it. Thank you.
We're so glad you guys were able to watch with us. Mm -hmm. Hey, here. I'm trying to find any questions. Okay, so Tony had one. Uh, curious if you guys ever used any advanced methods of doing selection cutout mass. Um, so we definitely do this in the membership and other um, tutorials and editing workshops, but everybody um, edits differently. We have like 20 instructors in the membership, so we're going to see a bit of um, variety of how to do things, which is a good thing yeah. because you can learn different ways to do it. Mm -hmm. um, and some images might not need the advanced no. cutting. With this one, it was it was easy to not have to do the advanced cutting because the green background on the two, the original image and the digital backdrop was just so easy to paint away in the layer mask. So normally I would do a select and a cut, which you will see, like Grace was saying, in a lot of the other videos that we have, they do way advanced cutting. This one was just so simple to not even bother with all of that because it was an easy blending with, uh, with a layer mask. Right. Yeah. And there's definitely many ways to do things. And you can pick and choose what you like the best. Um, that's the beauty of having learning all the different ways. So you can find what suits you the best and what you like to do. And mm -hmm. also know the other ways in case you want to utilize that in other types of edits mm -hmm. or other instances. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like, you know, when you're out shooting photography, it's better if you, even if you only shoot natural light, it's, it's best if you also know how to use a reflector, you also know how to use an off camera flash, just because even if you don't necessarily like using those things, it's nice to know backup plans, how to. And, mm -hmm. right. In other ways for other settings and different shoots. And, you know, it's just kind of nice to have different ways of doing things. Mm -hmm. Um, is that video later in the library? Yes, it's already in the library. So you're able to go in and watch without our um, user error trying to play. <laughs> without our shenanigans. Yeah. It's in the composite editing section. So if you scroll down into there, you'll find it, the composite editing workshops. And it's yep. all the way at the bottom. Yep. Down and I have the it. link in this live also that yeah. you can click. And it will take you, actually, it'll take you to the um, downloads, but I think it'll also, did we link it to the video as well? Probably not. I don't know. Uh, I can get the link, actually. Uh, I will get it for you. One second. OK, I'm putting it in the comments for you. In the group? Yep, it's in the okay. comments. Uh, there we go. I have it in there. So you can just click that link, and that will take you to the video in the membership. OK. Um, I want to learn Photoshop skills. Where can I find more info on courses? Um, we actually have a huge library of courses if you wanted to check that out. Uh, and it goes from beginner things to, to easy ways to learn how to use the program of Photoshop itself and, and layers and blending and all those things to then advanced editing techniques such as composites or fine art and all of that too. So there's lots and lots of tutorials throughout the membership that we have with Samarana that gives you all of your basic stuff and then kind of brings you up into advanced courses. Yes, I'm adding the link for you in the comments because I don't mm -hmm. remember where if I put that link anyway. Which is actually going to be part of our, our revamping of the site that we're doing. So we're going to we're getting a better flow for things so that it's laid out nicely. Yes. Yeah. OK, that should be in the comments now. Um, <laughs> OK, so did you have any thing you wanted to add, Tracy? Or? I don't think so. I think I rambled all my <laughs> ramblings <laughs> that I can think of. My brain is mashed potatoes today. Yeah, me too. <laughs> cool. Thanks for the session and Q&A. You are very welcome. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was fun. Um, next time will be hopefully more technically uh, <laughs> We're getting there <laughs> live by live. It's kind of like learning Photoshop for the first time. Like, what's going on right? here? But the more you do it and the more you practice, it will get better. Exactly. <laughs> Ah. Well, I hope you guys have a good weekend. And to all the moms out there, too, happy Mother's Day yes, to you guys. I know it's a Day. weird one this year, but uh, happy Mother's mm -hmm. Day, too. And I hope you're celebrated and appreciated and get to do something for yourself, too, like maybe use some composites and make some yeah. art for your own creative soul. 
which is important Definitely. for me. <laughs> Makes me happy. Yeah. Yes. And uh, if you guys didn't, if you weren't able to do a Mother's Day shoot, um, these chairs are an awesome uh, way to be able to do that. And then mm -hmm. also, don't forget too that you can still do virtual photo shoots with your clients or with people from all over the world, um, literally by having them take a cell phone image or a camera image and sending it to you. And then you do your compositing skills that you learn from us. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in our then, membership as well. That's another one of the great yep. tutorials that we just have loaded in there too is and also yep. a marketing video on that. So yes, lots have, of good information. Yep, we have tutorials on exactly how to do that and how to set it up. Um, you can literally take clients from all over the world. Um, so yeah, definitely lots of ways that we can still be working and still creating and still being creative mm -hmm. um, for others and also yourself. So Thanks again so much, everybody, for being Thanks here. Thanks for joining us, us guys. <laughs> See you next time. All right. Sounds good. Bye, guys. Bye, y'all.